Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Monday. So today we are talking uh, March lifestyle favorites. That's right, we're at the end of March, so the time has come. <laughs> uh, I am kind of excited to share these things with you guys today because once again, it's just kind of a random grouping of things. This is what my lifestyle favorites are all about. Um, this is where I put all of the stuff that doesn't fit in with my beauty or my home fragrance content. So this one video a month gives, you, gives me an opportunity to share some things with you guys that are a little different. So that's what we're doing today. Um, I have some food per usual. I love to eat. <laughs> I have some CBD. I have the most amazing portrait of Penelope and Mr. Kong that you will ever see in your life. I also have a swimsuit and I have some bras. Um, yeah, and bras are kind of random, but bras are important. If you have the tatas, you know, it's nice to support them and find comfortable bras that um, also, you know, just provide support, shaping, comfort, all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to share my favorite bras from Soma with you. So where do I even start? I'm gonna start with the food stuff because why not? We all love food, right? So I recently in the last couple months started picking up these, they're called Perfect Bar. Um, I'm sure you can get them at other retailers besides Costco, but I am the queen of the Costco. I love Costco, you guys. That store gets me every single time. I will go in there with a list and come out having spent like $400. And I, I don't understand how it happens, but it just sucks you in. I think that's the whole point of Costco is to like <laughs> have you come in and go, what? I never knew I needed that. <laughs> yeah, they designed that store for me. Okay, so these perfect bars are uh, delicious. You do wanna know that these are refrigerated protein bars, you have to keep these in the fridge. You can't just come home, stick them in your cupboard. Um, so this particular set that I recently picked up came with 12 bars. I want to say it was maybe like, don't quote me on the price, but somewhere around like 15 to $19. Well, that sounds about right. So yeah, kind of spendier, but these are more of like a whole food type product. Um, so the flavors in here are almond butter, peanut butter, and then there is the dark chocolate chip peanut butter. The last pack that I got had a dark chocolate um, option. It was just like all dark chocolate and it was so good, you guys. I was kind of bummed this set didn't have that in it. But these are great because these contain a ton of protein in each of the bars. They are definitely not like a low cal thing. I love to eat these right before working out. I have recently been working out quite a bit and I'm loving the results by the way. I'm feeling pretty darn good about myself right now. <laughs> so um, the peanut butter option has 17 grams of protein. There's 15 grams of protein in the dark chocolate chip peanut butter. And then there's 13 grams of protein in the almond butter. The almond butter I think is actually my second favorite. So I'm just going to read you guys some of the ingredients of the almond butter so that you get a sense of what they put in here. So it's almond butter, honey, non-fat dry milk, almond pieces, dried whole egg powder, um, rice protein, sesame seeds, dried whole powders of kale, flaxseed, rosehip, orange, lemon, papaya, tomato, apple, alfalfa, celery, kelp, carrot, spinach, there's flaxseed oil, Sunflower seed oil, sesame seed oil, olive oil, pumpkin seeds, um, and a lot of these different ingredients that I just read off are actually organic. So if you're into organic, not every ingredient is organic, but a lot of them are. These do obviously have just a little bit of sugars in them. I don't think the sugar is outrageous, um, but what I love the most is the protein. These are an excellent energy boost for me right before going to work out, and they really get me through my workout and make it a little bit easier. <laughs> I am someone who, when my blood sugar drops, like I get immediately lethargic and angry. <laughs> I am 
the hangry person. Like if you don't feed me on a regular basis, um, at least according to my feeding schedule, <laughs> I guess you could say eating schedule that I have established for myself, which by the way, I am fully doing intermittent fasting again. Um, I am fasting for about 16 to 18 hours and then um, eating for about eight to six hours. It just depends on what I'm doing on the day. So um, I'm fine not eating all morning long, but by the time it comes to like my feeding time, <laughs> I better have something in my mouth at that point or someone's gonna get strangled. Like that's just what's gonna happen. <laughs> I would kill for food at that point. So anyway, I love those. And, um, you know, if I, if I don't have anything else in the house, when I'm ready to break my fast, I will sometimes go to these and they just immediately satiate me and they're delicious. I think they're delicious. They're very good, but again, keep them in the refrigerator. Okay. Um, as we go into the spring and summer, I start craving watermelon water. I don't know why. A lot of times during the summer, Trader Joe's will have it, and I love the Trader Joe's watermelon water. But during the off times when Trader Joe's doesn't have it, I get this watermelon water. Ooh, I don't know who that is. Oh, I think that's Cost Plus World Market sending me my text for the day. Are you guys signed up with them? They will text you every day. <laughs> I'm about to hit stop on their texts. Um, anyway, this, this watermelon, you can actually find this at Target. This is normally where I buy it. When I go to Target, I will often get like just six of them to have in the fridge. Um, watermelon juice does separate. So sometimes you'll see like the kind of the watermelon solids at the bottom and then just a really faintly pink liquid towards the top. You do want to shake this. And once you do like it's just, oh, it's so good. So the ingredients in here are pretty simple. Where are they? Merp. Um, watermelons are 92% water. I think this is just watermelon and some lemon juice. Where did I see the ingredients? Oh, there they are. Watermelon flesh, filtered water, watermelon rind, and lemon juice. Anyway, this is delicious. I love to drink this when I'm working out. Watermelon does have a lot of potassium in it, and then it also has electrolytes, um, has lycopene, which is really good. There is no sugar added to this, by the way, which I really like. I have really cut my sugar consumption a lot. There's sugar in here, but I, I'm not drinking um, juices or anything like that. Like I'm trying to really cut out, I'm not eating candy, which by the way, I would like to give myself a high five for that because I was a candy addict for several months there. And that's because my husband has like this insane sweet tooth. He's nuts. Okay, what do we do next? Let's, okay, you guys are gonna die. Most of you have already seen this on Instagram, but Crown and Paw got in touch with me a while ago. This was like a couple months ago. And they asked if I might be interested in, um, I think they've, found me maybe on Instagram or something. I don't know. I don't know how they found me, but they emailed me. They knew I had dogs <laughs> and they said, Hey, we want to send you just a small portrait of your choice. You can do one dog or both dogs. We have options for single or, you know, like multiple dogs in a picture. And I was like, I've seen you guys on Instagram. I've seen you on Facebook ads. This is hysterical. 100% I'm in because I've actually been wanting to order one myself. And this week, <laughs> I'm ordering another one just for myself that I make this time around. But what I did is um, I just sent them a picture of both Mr. Kong and Penelope, just like of their faces, where their faces were like kind of large in the picture and um, like there was a lot of detail. And I said, hey, here's the pictures of my dogs. I took a look at the website because they offered to do whichever like one that I wanted. So they have tons of different options. There's like, you can have your dog in like a NASA space suit. You can have your dog as like master and commander of a ship. <laughs> you can have your dog as a knight or a king or a queen or a duke or a duchess. There's so many adorable options. And um, I thought, you know what? I'm gonna let them pick which one to send me. All I said was, here's a picture of Penelope, here's a picture of Mr. Kong, put them in whatever picture you think would be most hysterical. And they put them in American Gothic. And I don't think that there is anything more perfect that I've seen in my entire life. That's right. 
You guys, look at Penelope and Mr. Kong. I, I was cackling when I opened the box. <laughs> it's just like, what is this? <laughs> this, honestly, I think this is one of my most prized possessions because I feel like this is just the essence of Penelope and Mr. Kong. They, they're both obviously pugs. Well, Mr. Kong is actually a Puganese, so he is a pug and a Pekingese mix. Um, sometimes we call him a Pika pug, um, but Penelope is full pug. She's a purebred. And um, they are, they're both full of like piss and vinegar. These dogs, <laughs> I love them so much. They both have the most unique, funny little personalities. Pugs are known for being clowns, but they're also known for kind of being a little moody and a little sassy. And I just, I mean, Kong as the farmer, Penelope as the farmer's wife, and their expressions. I mean, their expressions absolutely kill me. So first off, this was absolute perfection, but I'm also really impressed with the quality of it. Like this is nice. This is nicely done. So it's obviously a canvas. There is an option to hang this if you want. They have a couple of different options here. The back is obviously hollow because this is like a wrapped canvas essentially. So the print kind of goes around. You can get these in lots of different sizes. I believe this is just the eight by 10, I wanna say, and I'll be ordering another eight by 10 myself. I think this is so hysterical and every person that has come to our house, I have literally like gone to our mantle where this is proudly featured, picked it up and taken it to everyone that has come to our house and been like, oh my God, did you see this yet? <laughs> I love it so much. And people just, they just laugh because they're like, oh my God, that is so with them. I love this and a huge thank you to Crown and Paw for offering to send this out. And it definitely motivated me immediately to make another one because I want to have one on one side of the mantle and then one on the other other side of the mantle. So I'm thinking perhaps something a little bit more glamorous the next time around. Um, but I just, I, I love this. I just, I love, it's, it's them. And it's so well done because it looks like a painting, but it's my dogs. Like I immediately looked at this and was like, this has all of Penelope's features. It has all of Mr. Kong's features. Like even his toothus, you guys, the toothus. Anyway, thank you, Crown and Paul. I love it. <laughs> Honestly, that makes me so happy, you guys. I can't even like express to you the amount of joy that I feel every time that I look at that. It is so precious to me and it just, it just warms my heart and it, this would be an amazing gift if you know someone who is obsessed with their dogs or their cats or their gerbils. I mean, you you can do birds, you can do hedgehogs. If, you, if your animal has a face, <laughs> I, I don't know how a snake would work, but maybe. Um, if your pet has a face, you can go to Cron and Paw. <laughs> you can create one of these things for them. I love it, love it. Okay, let's talk some CBD. All right, I live in Oregon. CBD and THC products are legal here in Oregon, so I have access to all sorts of things. There, is, there, are, there are shops on every corner, um, but I know that that is not the case for every single state yet. Hopefully everyone will get to this point, um, but a company called Jupiter reached out to me. Now these guys just do organic CBD. Um, I use CBD very regularly myself because I find that CBD mellows me out way better than any other type of drug or medicine that I've taken in the past to calm my nerves, to slow down my mind. Um, I just find it incredibly soothing and when I am at my most stressed, I take something like this and it really helps me so much with my anxiety. Um, what I really liked about this company is their CBD is organic and it really is actually some of the best tasting CBD oil that I've ever tried. And I've tried quite a bit. Like I said, there's a shop on every corner. You can walk in and get whatever CBD concoction you want. You can get it in a syrup. You can get it in an edible. You, you can get CBD however you want. 
But um, these guys also offer different dosages. I was very upfront with them in saying that I've been using CBD for a while. And so for me, I, I tend to go for higher dosages of it because I think um, that's just what my body responds to at this point. And so um, I'm going to pull up their website real quick because I want to tell you guys the different strengths that they have available. If you have never tried CBD in the past, definitely I want you to go read up about it. You can certainly check out the Jupiter website, but you can also just Google benefits of CBD oil. It, it doesn't necessarily work for everybody, but there's a lot of people that it does help them with their anxiety and stress. And it's not something that I have to take every day, but on days where I'm just like, nah, <laughs> I take this stuff. And immediately I feel a mellowness that just, it just makes me happy. It just, it does. So their different strengths are 450 milligram, uh, which is their low strength, 900 milligrams, which is medium, and then um, 1350, which is strong. I got the strong. <laughs> um, it's not super inexpensive, but this is really high quality organic CBD you can't get high off of CBD, you guys. This has no THC in it, none whatsoever. They wouldn't be able to ship this if it had THC in it. So you're not gonna get a buzz from this. Don't, don't be one of those people that gets confused <laughs> between CBD and THC. If it contained THC, you might get a little buzzed. This is just CBD. It will just mellow you out. Um, they do have a <clears throat> subscribe and save option, which will save you 10%. So the different strengths also have a different price point. The strong, which is the one that I have, retails for $99. The medium retails for $89 and the low for $69. Um, so they say uh, here that their product is uh, fast and natural stress relief. 100% agree with that. They This does have a really delicious flavor. Some of the ones I've tried, kind of nasty um by the way the way that you use this is you take a dropper full and you put it underneath your tongue and you let it sit there for about 30 seconds and then you can swallow it um, when you take it sublingually like that it gets into your bloodstream a little bit faster but you can just also just swallow it right away if you want i do the under the tongue thing because i do think it helps um, they do have a 30-day risk-free trial and they have free shipping and free returns. So if this doesn't work for you, you can send it back. If you are someone who feels like you want to try something that's a little bit more natural to help with your anxiety or your stress, or I mean, who isn't dealing with that these days? Um, this is something that I would really highly recommend. The, the CBD is grown, um, or the plants are grown in the USA. Um, they're, they are vegan, they are non-GMO, this is lab tested, this is full spectrum. Um, you do, whenever you wanna take a product like this, you always wanna shake it up really well, and then you just basically fill your dropper, and then this is the amount that you would take. Um, I have really enjoyed this, and honestly, if I didn't have like immediate access to CBD, I would continue to order this because it's really good. In fact, I think I might just go ahead and sign up with them for this because it is really, really great. I like that I can choose the different strengths. <laughs> um, and I, like I said, I just went for the strongest right away. Because, and I told them, I was like, hey, I live in Oregon. <laughs> and they're like, oh yeah, yeah, no, we know. So um, they did send me the one that I wanted and it's, it's fantastic, you guys. If you've never tried CBD, look into it. I'm not pressuring anyone to try it at all, but it has been something that has been really effective for me. So a big thanks to Jupiter for sending this out. I've really honestly enjoyed it. And on my days where I am ready to like, I take that and I'm okay. And that's good. <laughs> With just being okay at this point. All right, you guys, I am gonna start incorporating a little bit more fashion stuff on my channel. You guys, I'm not the fashion queen. Nope, not at all. But a fun fact about me, I love fancy lady dresses. I love to get dressed up. I love um, going to holiday parties. I love having holiday parties. I love having people at our house. I love going out to nice dinners. In the last year, clearly that has not been a part of my life and that's been okay. 
But I'm looking forward to being able to experience that hopefully in the later points of this year. I just really love the opportunity to feel like I am looking my best, feeling my best. Um, you know, as a woman, I just, I like to feel pretty sometimes and dresses are kind of my thing. So in April, I'm going to share some dress hauls with you guys. One of them, I actually placed the order for last year and then when everything started going down, I was like, it's insane for me to show you guys these dresses at this point because I can't wear these to any of the events that I thought I was going to be wearing them to and neither are you guys. So there was no point. But now that things are kind of starting to normalize just a little bit, um, I'm going to share you some dresses with you guys that I love and that I think are really pretty. But also summer is coming and guess what? It's swimsuit season. That's right. Um, I'm not going to show you guys these on me. I just, I feel like that's weird. I don't know. Uh, I'm fine wearing a swimsuit in public, but I feel like it's weird to film myself in a swimsuit or take pictures in a swimsuit. I don't know. I know there's a lot of people out there who do fashion hauls and they're just like, here's me in my lingerie. Don't you love this? I, I'm not going to be that person. However, you guys, Target is killing it in the swimsuit department this year. I am so impressed with their swimsuits and they have this line. I don't know if this is new for them, but this is the shade and shore line. The bras, bras, the um, swimsuit tops, if, you, if you're doing a two piece, <laughs> are so cute. They are so cute and they come in different cup sizes now, not small, medium, large. This is why I've never really been able to shop for a two piece. Um, because my chest is on the, it's on the somewhat larger size. Fun fact, I actually had a breast reduction. I did. Most of you guys know that if you've been with my channel for a while. I had a mommy makeover surgery and I had my diastasis recti repaired um, when they did my tummy tuck. And then I also had a breast reduction because I had huge tatas. They were huge, especially after breastfeeding Stella. So I was like, nope, I'm done with this. Um, but I've never been able to really, even since the surgery, like my boobs look really nice. Like my surgeon was amazing. I'm very thankful for her. She did still leave them a little larger than what I wanted, but she wanted it proportionate for my body size. So for reference, I'm 5'7". Right now I weigh 170 pounds and I'm built like a linebacker. Like I am not a dainty lady, right? So. Having a B cup, which is what I wanted, probably wouldn't look right on me, but she went a, a few cup sizes beyond that. Anyway, my surgery regrets are none of your problems, but I was able to find a top, finally, that allowed me to do a two-piece, and this top is adorable, you guys. So here it is. I will link this down below, but you can find this in store. So it is underwire. I love underwire anything. I think I don't, I don't, I honestly don't need the support, but I just like the way that it looks. I think it sh shapes everything very nicely. Um, and the back actually ties across, you can, it, here, let me just do it real quick. It ties across kind of the middle of your back. I'm just going to put a little knot in here so that you guys can see, but you can adjust your shoulder straps with that because you can kind of pull it tighter if you want here or have it looser, whatever you want. And I, I got this in a 36 double D, which is my typical size. Um, and this is really well made. I love this. It's lined. So this is very thick. I love the fabric. And then I picked up two different swimsuit bottoms. I didn't like the bottoms that came with this particular fabric. So I just picked black bottoms and what I did was I chose um, a higher waisted style. These look enormous on camera. <laughs> I just, when I saw these, even when I saw these in store, I was like, these are huge, but this is a large. And typically I am, I'm a size 10. So a lot of times when I choose small, medium, large, like if those are the options, I typically choose the large um, so that I, you know, it just, that seems to fit the best especially because I have just a little bit of a booty on me. But so this is, this is again from, is this the Kona Soul? What is this? No, this is different. So this is Kona Soul actually. 
I think this is a different brand. Is this one the same? No, this is the Shade and Shore, and this is the Kona Soul. So this has a little bit of ruching on the side here, and I love this one. It's a full coverage bottom. I, I do like my booty to be covered. Covered. Um, this I chose in the large as well, and they classify this as a 10 to a 14. Um, sorry, a 12 to a 14. Normally, if I am doing a one piece, I will get it in a 12, just because my boobs are a little bit bigger, and that's how they usually fit into the swimsuit. So sometimes I'll have areas of my swimsuit that are a little bit more baggy, but um, this fits pretty well, I will say. Once I get it on, it looks really good. But then I also picked up one of the Shade and Shore bottoms, and these were 22, this one's $22.99, this one was $19.99, and the top was $29.99. So still pretty inexpensive for a complete swimsuit by the time it's all said and done especially when you are actually getting a cup size that you need versus large. Who, who goes by like small, medium, and large when it comes to boobs? That's silly. Anyway, this is also in a large, and this is also between a 12 and 14. And this one I really liked because it has the little, first off, full coverage back, nice high waist, but it has these cute little cutouts on the side, and these, they don't look trashy, you guys. I, I put this on, and I felt totally comfortable with this. It just looked really, really cute on, and I this these do not ride up. Like, there is good elastic on here that is not going to cause you a wedgie every time you walk out of the pool, or, I don't know. I, I know that people swim in oceans and lakes and rivers, and that freaks me out because... There's fish and stuff in there. No thanks. <laughs> I'm talking, this, this video is gonna be long. End of story, sorry. Anyway, I was just saying that I, I it, my biggest nightmare is swimming in a lake or a stream or something and having a fish nibble, nibble me. Or some giant like ancient dinosaur or whale coming up and eating me. I know, just don't, I know, I'm insane. I don't like the unknown, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll go in a pool. You will not catch me ever going in a river, a stream, a lake, and, oh, there's a squirrel. Oh my God, he's so cute. Or the ocean, especially the ocean. No thanks. Okay, you guys, um, let's talk bras. I think before I do the bras, I'm gonna have to go downstairs, upload this footage, and we'll be back. I'll be back. All right, and we're back. Sorry, I know that I have a very limited amount of filming time on this camera and I have to uh, recharge it, get the footage off, doesn't matter. Anyway, and if you're gonna call me a spaz, I'm already aware, it's, it's totally my thing. Okay, let's talk bras, you guys. So I have been wanting to share some of my favorite bras for a while, but I always feel weird showing you guys bras that I've already worn essentially bras that are not new. Um, so I recently did my yearly Soma uh, bra trip. By the way, I love Soma. They have the most comfortable bras, the best fabrics. They wear better than any other bra from any other company that I've ever shopped from. And they have a huge selection of cup sizes. So whether you are an A cup or a triple D or beyond, <laughs> they've got some bras for you. They have obviously their in-house Soma brand, but I believe they also carry a couple of other brands, maybe like, maybe Wacol, don't quote me on that. I've never purchased any of those. I just get the straight up like Soma bras. And so I wanted to share you with you guys my favorite um, bra lines from them because they have several different lines or types or styles of bras to choose from and I just I love them they are the best I'm telling you if you're still shopping at Victoria's Secret why are you doing that <laughs> I have not shopped at Victoria's Secret for a very long time for a few reasons um but anyway and I also appreciate let me just say this I really appreciate that in Soma's ads like online in their catalogs they show women of lots of different body types, shapes, sizes, curvy, not curvy, large cups, small cups, 
everything is represented and that just makes me happy. You don't see that with Victoria's Secret. <laughs> anyway, all right. So let's get into, and I will link my favorite ones down below. Um, okay, this first one is called the Cooling Full Coverage. Ah, uh, this I have worn for a couple years now and I love this particular one. So um, I got safe colors, <laughs> nude and black, which always good. But what I love about this bra is that it has these really nice supportive straps, but they're not straps that dig in. And this is lined, but not obnoxiously lined. And it really does have a cooling effect when you're wearing it. If you need a summer bra, this is it. So in this particular bra, I am a 36 double D. Now, in the other styles I'm gonna show you, I actually size up to a triple D just because I like a, the coverage that that provides on the sides is a little bit of a better fit for me. But with this one, I am a double D. So always make sure when you're trying on your bras that if, if one doesn't fit correct, quite right in your normal cup size, Think about going up a cup size or possibly even going down a cup size. Um, and this one is perfect in just my normal 36 double D size, which tends to be like my norm. Um, but you know, if you find that this, if you're kind of spilling out, maybe go up a cup size. But the, they, these are fantastic. They have really nice detailing. On the side here, like there is, it's not really coming off on camera. Maybe it'll show on the nude. Okay, yeah, you're gonna see it a little bit better. So they have this kind of supportive, almost mesh on the side, and then it also wraps around towards the back. And these are so soft, especially on the inside, which is where it matters, right? So this particular one retails for 56, and again, it is the cooling full coverage. So soft tan and black, always a go-to. I didn't get the pink because they didn't have it in stock, but normally I also get a pink in this one as well. Now, this one. There is one that they are having to send to me in the mail because it they didn't have my the color that I wanted in stock in store, so they just they send it to me for free via the mail. I've had that happen a couple times. The store that I go to is pretty small, so they don't have like a massive selection. Um, but this is the, this is one of the embraceable bras and I'm just going to close this one on the back so that you can see the really sweet detailing on this. This is called the embraceable signature lace racer back. And this is in the fond floral mini Navy. Now this one retails for 49, but they were having a buy one, get one 50% off sale on all of their embraceable bras. And the embraceable have the nicest fabric and they're so comfortable. I love this one. This one I did size up to a 36 triple D. It just provided a little better cup coverage for me, if that makes sense. But look at the lace racer back on this. It's so cute. And these are perfect. We're coming into spring and summer. If you're going to be wearing tank tops, these look amazing in tank tops because they hide your bra strap like if you have a skinnier like strap not like a super skinny one you're obviously going to see this through that but if you have just a normal strap tank top this you're not going to be like pulling your bra strap up if it falls off your shoulder or whatever this racer back style here or t-back whatever you want to call it really does keep the bra in place and um, it really provide this particular cup provides a lot of coverage, which is my preference, and it's so comfortable. Another thing I want to say about the Soma bras, I have never once had the underwire poke through. Not once. Not once. Victoria's Secret? I swear almost all the time. It just makes me so angry. Anyway, love this. So I got this navy one here and then i also got it in the light pink um and again this fabric you guys and it they wash so well i 
put all of my bras in a, and I'll link one down below. It's just a lingerie bag. We have a front load washer and I always make sure that I close the, the, the clasps on the back. And um, I'll do like a couple of bras at a time in the lingerie bag and I just toss it in on the gentle cycle and I always do a couple of extra rinses and um, they come out perfect every single time. Love that. So I got that. And then my second favorite embraceable style from them is this one here and I got this in the nude and the pink. So this is the shade of pink that I have coming in this like racerback style here. So this is the embraceable signature perfect coverage and this is in the uh, color adobe rose and porcelain which i don't know adobe rose porcelain adobe rose slash porcelain anyway so this again this is not one of those tea bags this is just like a traditional just regular bra i guess but i love the support of this one and i just really like how soft this fabric feels against my skin. Amazing cup coverage. I love the straps. They're not too thick, but they're not too thin. They have a little bit of give to them. They never dig in. These bras are so comfortable, you guys. If you are a Soma girl already, you know. If you've never tried their pajamas, oh, they're so soft. They use the most buttery fabric. Like when you touch this, the first word that's going to come to your mouth to your mind is butter. Like it's so soft. And I love when they put this kind of lace detail on the side of their bras or in the case of the cooling this right here. It provides extra like support from the side and kind of like holds you in better I feel like um and this is just so pretty you guys I and the lace detail I think it's a little bit more evident on this one. I just think it's so pretty fun fact when Stella was what was she like two whenever I would wash my bras at our old house I would hang them up on this little drying rack that I had in the laundry room and she would love to go in there and take my bras and wear them like as a hat <laughs> And I used to joke with her, like she'd come out of the laundry room and be like, oh, you put on your yarmulke. And she's like, yeah, I put on my yarmulke. So, I don't know. I just, I love memories like that. Like I just, I used to love how Stella would mispronounce things all the time. Like she would have like her own words for so many things and it just always cracked me up. And to this day, like I still ask her like, you wanna go put on a yarmulke? And she's like, oh my God, no mom, <laughs> stop it. Now it totally grosses her out, but anyway, she used to love to do that as a kid. And as you can see, <laughs> it, it provided a little bit more coverage for her head than a yarmulke would. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, these, I, I love these Soma bras, you guys. If you've never shopped at Soma, they're fantastic. I really like them a lot. And now I'm set for bras for the next year. Usually every year I buy like six, six to eight new bras and those are the bras that I will wear for that year and usually at the end of the year um, those bras are kind of toast at that point um, you know I, I usually wear my bras for a few days in a row and then I put them in the laundry wash them up and um, wear another one for a few days that's just kind of how I've always done it and um, they just they wear incredibly well through multiple multiple washes throughout the year so Anyway, Soma. They, they, they don't know who I am. This is not sponsored by Soma at all. Not at all. It's not sponsored by Target. <laughs> In fact, this video is not sponsored at all. Crown and Pod did send me the portrait, and Jupiter did send me the drops, but all opinions, still my own. All right, you guys, thank you so much for taking the time to tune in. If you made it to the end of this video, I'd like to buy you a snack. Um... <laughs> you were anywhere near me right now I would totally give you one of these protein bars for making it through this video thank you guys so much for taking the time to tune in um, I'll see you in the next one Toodaloo.